In this video, we're gonna be talking about IQ Air residential air purifiers. IQ Air manufactures both residential and commercial air purifiers. Their residential units can be placed into three major categories. The first category is single room units, the second category is whole house units, and the third category is personal air purifiers. There are five different models of single room air purifiers. One of them is on the table here today. There are two different models of whole house air purifiers, and there are two different models of personal air purifiers. They make a three ton and a five ton whole house system. The three ton Perfect 16 and the five ton Perfect 16 where Perfect 16 is the model name there for those whole house systems. Again, they make two different personal air purifiers. One is called the Atom Desk and the other is called the Atom Car. Of course, the Atom Desk is for desktop usage and the Atom Car is made for vehicle usage. Now for the rest of this video, we're primarily gonna be concerned with their residential single room air purifiers. However, be aware that they do make commercial units also and they do make those whole house models and those personal models as well. Now talking about the residential single room offerings, uh, first up we have the Health Pro series. Now there are three different models in the Health Pro series. There is the Health Pro, the Health Pro Plus, and the Health Pro Compact. Uh, on the table here today we have the Health Pro Plus. The Health Pro Plus features a V5 cell. It is a gas and odor filter. The Health Pro does not come with that gas and odor filter. However, it can be upgraded to have that filter. Uh, so you can buy the Health Pro without the filter at a lower cost, and then later on you can add the gas and odor filter if that's what you choose to do. The Health Pro Compact does not come with that gas and odor filter, and it also cannot be upgraded. So yes, it does come at the lower price, even lower than the Health Pro. However, that unit cannot be upgraded. Uh, with the Health Pro, you can purchase it as is, uh, without the gas and odor filter, and then you can later on purchase that filter separately to add it. Uh, of course, the Health Pro Plus we have on the table here today, it already comes with that gas and odor filter. Uh, otherwise, all three models do come equipped with a pre-filter and a true HEPA filter. Uh, now, the pre-filter fits on the bottom of the unit here, and the true HEPA filter fits up top. Uh, air comes in through the bottom of the unit here. It goes through that filter, uh, the pre-filter. It then goes up through the gas and odor filter if it is there in that particular model, and then past the true HEPA filter up and out through the top of the unit here. The fourth IQ Air residential single room air purifier uh, that is on the market as well is the GC Multigas. Now, this unit is primarily made for gas filtration, and therefore it comes with a more robust gas filter. Uh, the gas filter there actually contains 12 pounds of media. Uh, the filter in here in the Health Pro Plus only contains five pounds of gas filtration media. So when you move up to that GC Multigas, you're getting a more robust gas filter there. Uh, that unit is specifically focused on gas filtration. Finally, the last single room a residential air purifier that we need to talk about that IQ Air makes is the Klaus series of air purifiers. Now the Klaus series is essentially a IQ Air Health Pro Plus, but with a different exterior here. On the Klaus series, uh, there is a very high-end exterior uh, wood finish here, and you do not get that with the Health Pro Plus, the regular one here, as you can see, it's simply made of plastic on the outside here. And with that Klaus series, uh, you do take a big step up in price, but with that big step up in price, you do get a much higher quality exterior finish here. Uh, so if that is something that is important to you, uh, that is what the Klaus series is for. So what is our recommendation when it comes to IQ Air single room air purifiers? Now, the first thing that we need to talk about in making those recommendations is the price. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus we have on the table here today retails for around $900. The compact and the non-plus model are a little bit less expensive, about $50 to $100 less, depending on the model there. Uh, the Klaus series goes all the way up to $2,500 uh, as its MSRP. So these units are extremely expensive, especially compared to other air purifiers on the market that have similar specifications in terms of their ability to purify the air. So since these units essentially purify the air, quite similarly to much less expensive units, why are they so expensive? Now, there are actually several reasons why these units are so expensive. Number one, they're made in Switzerland. Most other air purifiers on the market are made in China. Some like the Winix units are made in Korea. The Austin Air air purifiers are made in the USA. However, most air purifiers on the market that are at a much lower price point are made in China. Uh, this particular unit is made in Switzerland. So right there you can see the increase in price that would come just from that factor alone. The number two reason why these units are so expensive is the fact that they do use very high quality parts. Uh, the actual 
outer casing here on this unit. It's of a very high quality, a highly durable plastic. The internal parts here, the quality of the fan, really the entire unit here is made of very high quality materials, premium materials, and that is another reason why it is so expensive. The number three reason why these units are so expensive is the fact that they do come fully tested and certified uh, by the factory. Now, most air purifiers, when they ship, they ship to you maybe being tested, maybe being certified by the factory. However, you do not get any of that information. You simply receive the unit uh, in the box as it comes. When you buy a IQ Air Health Pro Plus, you actually receive a certificate of performance uh, in the box with the unit. And that certificate of performance is gonna tell you not only the specified air delivery numbers, but also the tested air delivery numbers for this particular unit with this particular serial number that you bought. So for your specific unit, that specific unit is tested, that specific unit is certified by the factory, and that is something that you really only get with IQ Air units, at least for the units that we've tested so far. The number four reason why IQ Air units are so expensive is the fact that the filter media in here is extremely thick and it is substantial there. Uh, so the pre-filter down here, it's a very thick filter. There's a lot of filter media. The gas and odor filter on this unit, there is a lot of filter media here, much more than on the average air purifier. The HEPA filter up top actually is just a true HEPA filter like most other HEPA filters on the market. However, there's a lot of filter media here. So you're getting a lot of filter media here. And because there is so much filter media, those filters cost a lot of money to replace. And when you initially buy the unit with those filters, that extra cost is added to the unit itself when you buy it. Uh, so that is the fourth reason why these IQ Air units tend to be more expensive than much of their competition. Now, the fifth reason why these units are so expensive is the long warranty on them. Uh, when you buy an IQ Air unit, you automatically get a five-year warranty. However, if you register the product, you do get a 10-year warranty with the product. Uh, so having a 10-year warranty, that's gonna be a much longer warranty than you get with most other air purifiers on the market. Most units tend to have a three-year warranty or a five-year warranty. Some like the Winix units have a one-year warranty. So that's a much, much shorter warranty than what you get with this IQ Air unit. So that 10-year warranty does add to the cost of the unit. The manufacturer has to stand behind their product. They have to manage uh, the costs involved there with units coming back, with parts coming back, if there are any problems. And so that 10-year warranty, that extended warranty length that you get with these IQ Air units uh, does also add to the cost there. And so, you can see, uh, just going over those five reasons alone, why these units are so much more expensive than their competition. Here's the problem though. You don't need an air purifier that is made in Switzerland. You don't need an air purifier that is made of absolute premium parts and materials. You don't need to buy an air purifier that is fully tested and certified by a human being that is going to cost extra labor there and therefore transfer costs to the air purifier itself. You don't have to buy an air purifier that has extremely thick filters with a lot of filter media. And you also don't necessarily need an air purifier that comes with a 10-year warranty. Uh, so the problem here is, yes, the IQ Air units are very well made. They have a lot of benefits, and those benefits do add to the cost. However, those are not things that you necessarily need when you buy an air purifier. So again, are all these things good things? Yes, they are absolutely good things, but they do come at a cost. And it is our opinion that for most consumers, this cost just isn't worth it. For a fraction of the price, you can buy a much less expensive option that is going to offer you similar filtration at a much lower cost. Now, if your primary concern is particle filtration, and here we're talking about things like allergens, dust, mold spores, things of that nature, if you are primarily concerned about particle filtration, you can get away with a $150 to $200, 250 CFM unit that is going to be very comparable in terms of its actual particle filtration to this unit, and you're gonna be able to buy that unit for about $150 to $200. So if particle filtration is your number one priority, you can definitely get away with a much less expensive option that is gonna give you similar results in terms of that particle filtration. If your primary concern is gas filtration, and here we're talking about things like VOCs, odors, things of that nature, if that is your primary concern and you are especially concerned about those things, yes, you will be able to filter those types of things with the gas filter that is in here. However, there are also less expensive options available here. The first thing that comes to mind is something like the Austin HealthMate or the HealthMate Plus. Those models are going to provide even more gas filtration media. The Austin HealthMate, for example, comes equipped with a gas filter that contains 15 pounds of activated carbon and zeolite 
the gas filter in this HealthMate Plus only contains about five pounds of gas filtration media. The GC Multigas, like we talked about earlier, contains only 12 pounds of gas filtration media. With the Austin, you're getting 15 pounds of gas filtration media, and the Austin tends to run in the neighborhood of five to $600. So there you have a option that is much less expensive than the IQ Air Health Pro Plus uh, that does an even better job at gas filtration than this particular unit and all other IQ Air air purifiers. Now, are these other units made in Switzerland? Do they come with 10-year warranties? No, they do not but these are still very good air purifiers. And here we're talking about those much less expensive air purifiers you can buy for particle filtration and the less expensive Austin Air units that you can buy for gas filtration. Uh, those units are certainly not made in Switzerland. They certainly don't come with a 10-year warranty, but they are still very good air purifiers. And our recommendation would be for you to go with one of those models over any of the current IQ Air offerings.